Pisces friends. Welcome. Take care of my lump. I'm going to do your singles reading for May 2021. We call it the four pillars. A little different singles reading. It's for super singles, totally singles. We're going to try to find your soulmate and describe them to you. Um, so we're not looking for your next ex problem. We're looking for the one that's right for you. So I look at it like uh, maybe they've been circling the airport. And they can't land because you've been busy with whomever. And now you're ready. We're going to bring down the one that's right for you and meet them. We look at their emotional, intellectual, sexual, love nature, and core value and uh, um, lifestyle areas. Uh, emotionally, the world. Ace of Pentacles. A little different readings. Bear with me. I'll get to it. And intellectually, we have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords. Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. The World and the Queen of Cups. And I'll stop there. I like to look at that. That's, you know, the conscious, the unconscious. Most of us, the sun and the moon and astrology has do like to think about the astrology of it. Sometimes I get a hit. And here we'll look at their sexual love nature. And here we'll look at the core values and the lifestyle. Um, and try to describe your person. See if I get any stories. Um, they, they had a really good childhood. Uh, they were really cared for and valued. When I, when I see this Ace of Pentacles, I saw um, a mother... Um, like holding a child and I have a sense that uh, this child always had the sense that they were um, valued um, and that they have value and they were always uh, validated their parents were emotionally whole and um, emotionally available kind of rare um, I get the feeling uh, like they probably come from a background like maybe dad or mom or both were in the foreign service with the world. And it was kind of literal, but I got the feeling like they traveled around them. And um, it's not just that. It's that their parents uh, were extremely well educated and worldly and this child like absorbed you know through their childhood uh, not only this uh incredibly valuable uh self-esteem um, um and just a solid sense of themselves um but you know they probably speak multiple languages here i see is also the queen of cups and the page of swords um also, with the Queen of Cups in the intellect, with the world, um, that's where it comes from. Is someone that uh, they're uh, very graceful. Um, they're kind of elegant. They they dress up well. Um, and they would be down to earth though. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, most of those are very sincere and grounded. I mean, I've, I've said this a lot, but th this person is grounded. They're they're just solid um, emotionally. I mean, there's, you know, we're just talking self-contained. It's like um, if you're with them, like they're, they're going to just probably be more concerned about what's going on with you. And, you know, because I don't, you know, I don't think it's like they don't need anything. You know, it's like if God came to them or genie and said, you know, uh, what do you want? They might actually say, yeah, I'm good. Who does that? I'd be like, oh my God, give me a minute. I got so many to sort from. And be like, yeah, well, no, thank you. Give it to somebody else that maybe needs help, you know? Um, and with the intellect, uh, with the nice combination with the Page of Swords here, um, they're capable of being very detail oriented and uh, of communicating. But it's almost like they communicate out, out of necessity. Eh? And, and um, very um, emotional, like in the, and they really understand emotions. They they uh, they understand what people mean, you know, uh, and they really do. Um, they they're not being arrogant or like assuming they understand you. Um, I think they really do. Um, 
and they probably speak um, in a very caring way. I think they're very, they are genuinely just a very caring person. You know, they just come from such a strong place. It just, I can't, I can't even imagine. It, they probably just easy for them to genuinely care and, and kind of give some of their strength to people. They're probably kind of person when you talk to them, you'd come away, like you definitely don't come away feeling drained. You come away feeling like supported. You come away feeling understood and like really understood. Like they may listen to you and then reword it in a way that just makes you feel like bigger, you know, like you're a better person. You're a bigger person. You know, they're listening to you, and you might be saying this and that, this and that, and then the way they reword it, they're like, you know, then you start thinking, wow, I really did do a good job. I really should give myself more credit. I really am further along than I thought. You know? Um, they'll have an education. They might tell you about that. Give them a, try to get an idea over here what they might do uh, with this. I mean... With this, you could do anything, and they may also have a lot of connections through their parents, I got feeling, too. Um, not sure of the age here. They're probably a mature person, that at least past their first uh, Saturn return, and, and capable of taking care of themselves uh, in every way. And, you know, they're, they're capable of, of asserting themselves and everything, but, you know, they're going to do it graciously. That's the word I want. They're very gracious. I think, type of personality here. This is the sexual wheel fortune. Take that as Jupiter, the king of swords. I don't know. This is a man. They're well now. That's one. Um, very confident. Um, dominant, but probably not, I don't, not necessarily like whips and chains dominant. Just uh, confident and dominant. Um, straightforward in terms of their sexuality um, with the Jupiter card up here at the top um, they may have a Sagittarius Venus and then they would have like an air and they may have an Aquarius Mars that could work I'd look for Sagittarius Venus Aquarius Mars um, they're probably going to have an Earth moon, too, like a Capricorn moon. Most comes to mind. Taurus moon, Taurus moon, Taurus moon. Vir not a Virgo moon. It's too reactionary. Um, could be a Taurus moon. Capricorn, Taurus. Um, Sag, Venus, Aquarius, Mars. Um... Someone very open about love, uh, very straightforward, not not a, just your person. Uh, I'm not saying they're a philanderer um, or anything like that. Um, uh, just uh, they're not jealous. They have some ability to detach themselves. Um, they're, they're not going to, like, give you any sense of being, you know, boxed in or controlled. Um, be very accepting. Is also is going to be a uh, open-minded person, um, liberally minded person, um, progressively minded person. Um, so you know you won't you know shock them again. Progressive, worldly, however you want to look at it. Seven of Wands. This is in their lifestyle and core values. And the Empress. My goodness. The King of Swords and the Empress. the seven of wands so the seven of wands and the empress here this is uh in terms of their core values um they like nice things um in in terms of the house and i think they will provide it because this person male or female doesn't matter with the empress the difference is um and this makes sense there's some venus energy too just overall i mean i don't know they could be Taurus rising or Libra rising or something like this or Taurus or Libra. But um, this ease about them, this grace, I mean, they would do very well at like a fundraiser or interacting with people. Um, um, 
in this abundance. So whatever they do, they're successful. Um, and they may be in a position where they often feel like they have to defend themselves, though, and set boundaries. This person would have a very strong, innate sense of boundaries. Um, I think there's something about the work they do where they kind of have to be available to other people. You know? It's almost like sitting on a board of directors or um, where they kind of have, they're like the face of an organization. Um, and, and I'm not saying like a model. Um, like they're the CEO of a company. And the companies sort of, uh, they kind of represent, when you say their name, and people in that business think of that company. Um, so someone that has a good deal of influence. Um, and someone who uh, will defend and must have had a sense over time of defending, getting into this position by kind of uh could be, too, uh, being competitive, just beating away all competitors, you know. Um, like, you might, here's my feeling, too. You might not notice much in terms of a competitive nature. Um, maybe someone in the bed, not, com yeah, they're, they like a good tussle, you know. And um, uh, when it comes, they might enjoy, come to think of it. They might enjoy this sort of interaction that I get the feeling like they're in these uh, realms uh, with fundraisers and working with politicians and CEOs and um, somehow being the face, being a representative of this. And I think they kind of enjoy the, the contest of it, the, the, the hustle, the competition um, that has to go on. And I think they're like really good at it, you know, like they could uh, go into a meeting and something and shred someone in a very uh, cool way uh, that needs shredding, you know, because of whatever it might be and um, walk out of there um, having made this uh, enormous difference in, in everything, but like somehow like everybody's still smiling sees them as a okay person uh, like they can they can they can if they're gonna push somebody off a cliff they do it jovially and with a little hip and they don't even realize you know uh, it, they're very good at uh, taking care of business uh, in a way that's uh, creating win-win situations um, anticipating other people's needs um, and um, they may well provide for a lot of people. And they may provide by running a business even, I think. They certainly, I don't think, are going to be someone who's wanting uh, for money. So they may tell you a little bit what they do um, with this. Uh, right? Hopefully it's something like that. I'd be interested to see what you say. If you have a comment on this, uh, hopefully you'll meet them in the very near future. That's my, how this is... I, um, my, my concept with this is to show someone that's brand new and that's coming in for you out of the future here, Pisces. So let me know. I appreciate you giving me a like. It's good karma. It's very easy. And um, appreciate everybody subscribing. That helps so much. Have a good one, guys.